This is the homework for lesson two, and it's module five of grade three. Please write your name here first. And this says, we're looking for strips here that are cut into equal parts, and we're going to circle them. Well, this one, these pieces look pretty much the same as each other, and so do these. But this guy here is definitely smaller than that one. So, and this one here definitely is too big, bigger than the others, so they're not, they're not all equal parts. All the parts have to be equal. There are how many equal parts in all? There are two equal parts, and one of them is shaded. There are one, two, three equal parts in all, and one of them is shaded. And here we have one, two, three, four, five equal parts in all. One of them is shaded. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen equal parts in all. And probably seven looks like every other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them are shaded. Dylan plans to eat one fifth of his candy bar. His four friends want him to share the rest equally. Show how Dylan and his friends can each get an equal share of the candy bar. Well, if he wants to eat a fifth and he's got four friends, there, I mean, there's five of them all together, right? So he needs five equal pieces for his candy bar. So we'll draw the candy bar. Let me. I can do better than that. I mean, you don't need to use a straight edge to draw a tape diagram, but there. All right, so we need to get this into what looks like mostly equal pieces. This will be Dylan's piece. And he wants that to be one fifth. And it is, right? Because it's this would be one of five pieces, so it's one fifth. And the other ones are friend one, friend two, friend three, and friend four. He has four friends. So they all get one fifth of the candy bar. Four friends. So If each of Dylan's friends has one fifth of the of the candy bar. they will all have equal pieces. You, or you could call it equal shares. Nasir baked a pie and cut it in fourths. He then cut each piece in half. What fraction of the original pie does each piece represent so pies are usually round and he starts with fourths and all lines when you're making fractions with a circle the rule is that the line all lines have to go through the center otherwise it, it just won't work 
So that's fourths. Now we're going to cut each piece in half. I'll start with this piece here. This piece is cut in half, and they have to come out from the middle. And actually, if you go a line straight through like that, then I'll cut the opposite side in half also. And I'll do the same thing here. Now those two pieces are cut in half. So now how many pieces do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just if we look at just one piece, um, count them, there's eight pieces. So each piece is one eighth. Nasir ate one piece of pie on Tuesday and two pieces on Wednesday. What fraction of the original pie was not eaten? What fraction of the original pie was not eaten? Was not eaten. So let's redraw the pie here. And here are the pieces. So if he ate one piece, that one's gone. And then on Tuesday, that's a Tuesday piece. Label it Tuesday. Two pieces on Wednesday, this one and that one. All gone. What fraction of the original pie is left? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five pieces left, and they're all eighths. So five, five eighths of the pie was not eaten.